Welcome to Truth and Transparency. What is up? Thursday. Still recovering over here. Still recovering. Today's live live. Sponsored in part by COVID-19. <laughs> Uh, well, <clears throat> we're going to take us back down memory lane today. Hi, Bumblebee. Hi, Melissa. We're going to take us back down memory lane. And we're going to play a June 1st, 2021 recording between me and Melissa Jade. I call them the Jade Tapes. The Jade Tapes. Now, um, I do want to make uh, two very important corrections uh, based on assumptions that may be going on. Uh, I was never, number one, given any uh, porn of Father Snuffles. Uh, I was simply told what he was doing uh, in the videos. So my digital evidence will prove that true. Uh, that was ever sent to me, but uh, a very, you know, detailed uh, recap of it was, and that's what I shared with everybody. So <coughs> that would be number one. Uh, number two is refer back to number one. What is up, Eric? Uh, Mike dropping. Canadian Mama Sarah. Mama three. Uh oh. Um. Again, welcome everybody. I will get. Oh, Boston. No way. No way. Um. Sweet. <laughs> Uh, who else is in here? Is it? I want to say this right. Is it Shalma? I want to say that right. Hello. I am here. Yay. Hello. <laughs> mm. Well, so it's always good to go back and, you know, freshen up your notes and, uh, the J tapes, they've never been played in their entirety. Uh, today you will hear the Jade tapes. So, um, this is the Jade tape. This is June 1st. So, you know, right after the Jaded tape. June 1st, 2021. Um, who? Now, I'm going to share something, though, too, before we get started. Um, before me and the Grim Reaper, Grim the Truther, stop talking, um, because they wanted to pick and choose what truths they were going to talk about. Um, the grim truther was looking for a, like a Melissa J Luda connect, um, because anything to get on mass out of the equation. So any way they could kick Melissa J to the curb, they were ready to unload on Melissa Jade, just, you know, send her off on her way. Um, and I have the screenshots to prove it. Um, Father Snuffles told me that, you know, if anybody's setting anybody up, it's Melissa Jade and Natasha Cooper. Um, again, so no issues with sliding, uh, Melissa Jade under the bus, but, you know, she's over there. Oh, waving her hands all around for for that crew 
Switch to each throne. <coughs> now, let's see. Sure do. I knew you were be watching, weirdo. <laughs> oh, candy man, candy man, candy man, candy man, candy man. Sure do, sugar. Sugar pie, honey munch. Sugar pie, honey munch. You know that I love you. Uh, 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 myself. I love you and nobody else. Okay. Let me share. Let me share a screen. I'll just mess with some people. Let me just mess with them. There we go. Ready? Just getting creative here for a second. Hang tight. Hang tight. Okay. I think that should work. Uh, it's pretty good. Okay. All right. Let's see. Um, I 
I'm telling Grim to go ask uh, Melissa Jade. Ask Melissa Jade questions. I want to know who, want, where, when. I'm not your enemy. I don't think you are. I'm helping. Go to Melissa Jade. I just want to know which group Luda was from. And ask her these questions. Okay, I will. This has been happening for a while, and everyone just wants to get rid of the scandal. Here's what I want to know. Who sent Luda in? Luda seeked out these people to do exactly what Lynn has been doing to you. Let's end this once and for all so we can all go back to what we love. I will ask MJ and see what she says. There we go. I see what you delete. Let's see what you delete. I didn't delete anything. What are you talking about, weirdo? This is anything has been deleted. It says unsent if it's been deleted, Grim. I said, uh, okay, I will. What has been happening for a while? Everyone just wants, I said, then tell Vanessa to come live with me. It can all end. I have the receipts that she needs and craves. She is devastated. She has been betrayed by her best friend. I use that term loosely. She would rather see everything first before making assumptions, Lana. She has her brand to build back. Teresa has sabotaged friendships, relationships. She won't trust anyone for a long time. She is just like you. Luda and Lynn came for you out of nowhere. Teresa has been plotting and making her doubt herself for the, for the duration. She is a snake. I know you don't care, but I tried to protect Vanessa and Teresa's little lap dog stuff M came for me. Grim, I was there for Vanessa. I asked Vanessa to come watch a live showing what Melissa J did to me. And she couldn't be bothered. I am no one's enemy. And V hopefully now sees that. A little late, but she sees it. She did. She listened, but without the proof that we can't act on it. Now... Without what proof? Vanessa, on May 28th, went to Ludovica Biani. Okay. Where's good old Lud? Osama Bin Laden. Oh, wrong one. This is me. You crazy. <laughs> Luda then types in my name and show her name doesn't show up. So she's doing all this and then sending me the stuff because she has multiple accounts. Because I was like, this is what you sent to Vanessa. She sent it to me. Look it up. See where it says 542? Five forty two screenshot was at five forty. It still says four hundred and eighty two matches, Grim. Four hundred and eighty two matches for Ludovica Biani still when she typed my name in. And it's still four hundred and eighty two. She edited her screenshots. Did you edit those for her, Grim? Did you edit those for her? Mm, because they're obsessed. So, Lou did this on Tuesday at 542, sent me this screenshot from 540. 
Vanessa and her still match 482 times. So what do you think about that? Oh my God, Kimmy, I love you. Miss you, girl. Just waiting for um, Vanessa to, Vanessa's keeper to talk. So there it is. 482 matched messages. Ugh. Because Luda was telling Vanessa, you were coming after her. The messages were not edited. V Veronica Cupcake. I am not disputing that. Okay? Both combined, they've said my name 42 times. Grim did a video, and Father Snuffles talked about it. That there was only 254 matches with my name in it. So, Grim, can you explain... How that's possible when Luda Vicaviani types it in on Tuesday at 5.42, or, or I'm sorry, takes a screenshot at 5.40, and then shoots it on over to me, and I get it at 5.42. Okay. This was not doctored. This was not altered. Okay. So... Um, I said, what about under your other Facebook account? I did not talk to her on that other account. Um, never did. I said, what? I only spoke to her on the one account. Okay. Can you prove this, please? Yes. It will help. Is Vanessa blocked? Yes. I blocked her months ago. So I said, type, type in my name and show her name doesn't show up. So that's what she does. And this is using her other account. <clears throat> I said, type in dad, March 19th. Hold on. I have, I have one match for your dad. Remember that Laura Priscilla T send that I've been telling you guys about? That's that. Ah, <laughs> ah, <laughs> 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 Oh, Grim. I'm just dismantling Unmasked's source named Ludovica Biani, where she had all of her information from. Luda. Uh, this is who she put all her faith in to run her channel. <laughs> okay. So she goes ahead and types that in and that came up and she said and it ain't even vanessa i said just type in dad because this what the heck this is the stuff that she was sending me So she writes, Dad, Lana Oriani, 10 matches between me and Luda, Dad. And I was sending her, they see, I'm contacting Lana's dad because she looks gray and she even mentioned her kid in that live. Don't give her platform right now at all. I think she had a mental breakdown or is on something. So the Watts are normal, but everyone that deals with them emerges looking like the life has been sucked out of them. Dad. Well, I told her dad on her, so hopefully not. Jay for Justice is a weirdo too, like Lana. Wasn't there to be sexy for her and her husband. I also told her dad to watch the video if he saw. So where are all those dad? They're not there. And then I told her to do, she did Vanessa's dad, or she wrote 
Lana's dad. I said, no, just type in dad. So I guess we'll see. Now you can't delete anybody else's messages. You can only delete um, your own messages. So I wondered, Grim, if you made, if these are real or, you know, fake. I mean, I shit, I don't know. Um, but why are you guys talking to this loon, lunatic? Oh. Oh, I know. There's three accounts. But they tried to say that there was only 254 times that my name was said. Well, right here, she pulls it up on Tuesday, and it's still 42. Um, God. All right, so let's go back to Grimmy Pooh. I don't want to come for you. I need facts or I am just as bad as everyone else. I said they are there. The facts are there. She blamed you for a lot before you were on YouTube. I have seen the Luda chats with my own eyes. Well, then why would Vanessa tell Ludovica Biani that I'm saying that she's suicidal when I never told her that? Thank you. Huh? Did I need to answer that? <sighs> Don't write me off yet. I think if anything, V was played too. So... She blamed you for from what, like, why would Vanessa write without any proof? Like you guys claim you guys have no proof on things. You guys need proof. And Vanessa goes to Ludovic Biani and tells her that she has her loyalty. And um, I asked Vanessa straight up if Snuffles was her boyfriend. I said, here's the proof you need. Give it to Grimm. Melissa Jade sent this whole thing up. She sent it to Larry, okay, and told Larry all this crap, okay? I said, here it is. This is before the sex panel ever happened. I said, your good friend Melissa Jade talking to Larry on May 25th, two days before the sex panel, saying these effing lies, and then goes on the glare, then Larry goes on the glare to call me a sexual predator. Get the F out of here, Vanessa. This girl is a, is, is a fat pig. That's what I said. Quote me. Um, she said, you want me to keep listening to you slandering me and dragging me? Da -da 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 -da. Da -da 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 I never did any dirty shit. You know exactly why I contacted Ludovic Biani in November 2020. The fake on KN channel <sighs> why does it matter? It doesn't. It was st a stupid channel. It doesn't matter. It doesn't because it was a watch related and they were making videos about us. So we were curious. It was your girl Ludo who was obsessively talking about you. Why would you can, why would you engage in talking to somebody if they're irrelevant and, um, crazy and all these things? Wait, 
<laughs> she's all about fight. all she cares about is natasha cooper i said again have you watched my live about what melissa j did to me with the sex panel no is this something nc is telling you no this is about what melissa j did to me that i asked you to watch weeks ago but you haven't had the time to check on the facts sounds good vanessa have a good day i watched parts but it's confusing because it was different from when we spoke Melissa Jade set this whole effort up, and I can prove it. Melissa Jade is Kevin Bacon, seven, seven degrees separation, okay? So I will read those screenshots above, but I'm not going to sit back and be slandered. Having the truth on my side makes it easy. Why don't you contact MJ and discuss all this with her? <laughs> I did on June 1st, and that's where we begin. Welcome to Truth and Transparency. Here we go. June 1st, I did contact Melissa Jade. June 1st, 2021. Let's hear what Melissa Jade says. Mm. Yeah, oh, okay. Just, you know, yeah. um, well, I don't want to be like, like a Natasha Cooper or anybody, like any of these other people. So, um, I wanted your truth. I wanted to know what all happened. Um, all right, well, I'm going to be honest, uh. Like, please be honest. Just please be completely honest. No, I'd be completely honest, but here's the problem. I'm trying extremely hard to not respond publicly um, because I refuse to be anyone's content. And, yeah, you know, like, I'm already assuming I'm being recorded. So it's not so much, you know, if you have me recorded just for your own safety, but I don't want anything going out publicly because everything is going to be torn to shreds. And it's going to be used as an... This is for my own safety. She knew she was being recorded. And regardless, I live in Ohio. Excuse to continue coming after me. Well, I, that, um, listen, this is, I'm not trying to continue coming after most of this. Has, like, w this is way deeper than... Just go ahead. I'm sure Allie already told you what happened. I just want your truth, also. whatever i just want what's the truth what i mean i told you in a text and i talked to you earlier and i said in, in that night and i just said hey i'm gonna pursue a relationship like everything that i wrote and no most i didn't show people your nudes i showed well, you showed ali one pick and she i did not tell her who it was from or anything she knew because okay, you had already but, slid in and i never but, but you see i like i never said you showed my nudes to multiple people I, but I responded back, and I told you that, no, I didn't. Yes, you, you said, no, you didn't, but you did show Allie, and no, she did clarify that it was not, you never said it was from me. Now, whether that's right or wrong, it's not, I never said I was a victim. Did I like how you turned around, and you basically made it seem like I was obsessed with you? I never said anything like that. Ever, sorry, what'd you say? I never said that you were obsessed with me once. Okay, after talking to Allie... The way it made it seem was I was engaging with you, you weren't giving anything back, and that you didn't know how to basically get me to stop, which actually would be very simple. One, you could simply say, because hey, you know, can you stop or block me? Well, but you know, you well, know damn well, you, you were 
messaging me as much as I was messaging you. Do I think this should have come public? No. Not at all. Okay, so then explain that part to me. So you're telling me that you just slid in my DMs just because. Oh, absolutely. I always, like, listen, I don't, I don't mind talking to you about me and how this went down with me and you. I'm just nervous, extremely nervous and weary about mentioning anything in regards to you know who because yeah. anything I say will be used and destroyed and taken apart. And if you go public with it, I'm not going public with anything. I'm trying to get to the bottom of something and I just need to know the truth. I need one more piece of the puzzle, Melissa. The truth is, is that I, um, were you pissed that like I did, that I said, like, I don't want to talk anymore? No. Okay. Not at all. You could ask Allie. And my response to you that night, yes, it was in vanishing mode, so there's no um, proof of it. But did I not say, listen, I if you guys continue uh, decide to continue yeah. forward, I'll be nothing but support. That's why I'm that's why I'm confused. Okay. So I will explain to you what happened. Me and Allie spoke on the phone for hours that night, and I yes, I told her everything. I told her everything that happened. The truth, Lana. Okay? Yeah, that's fine. I told her the truth. I explained to Allie. I said there was never any emotional connection between us. I said it was it was always fun and games. I was like, yeah, um, I don't even like girls. Yes, there. I admitted everything I said to you. There was something about Lana that it drew you in, you know, and it made you want to. I was like, but, um, and I told her, as long as you know that this is what happened. And I said, if you know, who knows, Lana might turn around and just say, like, listen, I'm sorry. Maybe I didn't take it seriously enough because. It's over the phone, you know, it's over, you're not actually, this isn't someone that it's in your real life, so maybe, you know, the boundaries and the line, it's blurry, you know, and uh, that's what we were expecting what would happen, and I had told Allie, I would support your guys' relationship absolutely moving forward, as long as you know this was the truth, because I was very... That was the truth, that. though. Right there, like, that's yeah. what I don't understand. How, so, I'm agreeing with you on that. Like, I will not say that, like, I wasn't messaging you, and you were messaging me. I agree. Two consenting adults all the way. No doubt about it. Yeah. Okay. I never not, like, I never not, like, it was, what I kind of regret is that I just didn't call you up on the phone and, and talk to you because this would have never happened. So communication is always key because it was very simple yeah. for me to say one thing. Most of all I would have said is because I, like, I had no issues with you as a person. I had you in my mock trial. You know what I mean? Right. So it was just like, and I was just. I knew for myself, if I was going to go ahead and pursue a relationship, that what we were doing, you know, occasionally had to stop just because. Absolutely. Yeah. And that's. But you did. You reached out to me like a week and a half prior to that. And you did say, um, you know, like we went through this whole, you know, sexual scenario. And then at the end you said, but then I would have to tell you that I can't continue with this because I, I'm sorry to talk to someone. And you said something about them being worthy. What was my response? My response was. Oh my god, absolutely. I was like, you deserve to be happy. You deserve to have someone in your life that you cherish and that cherishes you. I I thought that was it, Lana. But you reached out to me the next morning and said, what, no morning session before work? So that's the only issue I ever had was you were leading Allie to believe that this was all me. No, I, I never did. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's Allie's version. That's not true. I, I was, I never let this, I never put this all on you. I told, Allie was mad because she said that, she's like, why would you act like you liked her? I was like, well, what do you mean liked? I just, I let this go on. I don't want to say like. Mm -mm, we never liked each other that's, romantically. Yeah, that's, that's why I wanted to show those things. stuff. Yeah, exactly. I was, like, I was like, Allie, I didn't lead her to, be, to believe that we were in some relationship ever once. And I, and I was like. No. No, I don't even like girls. You even specifically asked. So, you know, do you like girls? I was like, what, does my eighth grade experiment with my Yeah, I know all of that, Melissa. Okay, so then girls. explain to me, explain to me where Cooper comes in. Because I don't understand if you and Allie are really good friends or friends or whatever, she told you, okay, well, I want this all to be private because me and Allie were still most 100%, like, yeah, I know you guys were still talking. She was basically waiting for you. You know, like she wanted you to be honest with her. I was and honest. The information I was getting is you were trying to say that I was scorned, that I was jealous, that you chose Allie over me, and that was never the issue. That's how Allie was saying. You're probably right. You're probably. I was like, I, I was like, I no, no. This is why. This is why I said that. I said that because she's like she wants to know Natasha Cooper. I was like, why would she go to Natasha Cooper, Allie? 
I was like, she'd have to be a scorned woman to go to Natasha Cooper. Mm-hmm. That's when the whole that's when the whole scorned woman came up. Yeah. Um, honestly, like hindsight's always twenty. Well, I'm just that's why. And then, um, I guess what I don't get: who went to Natasha Cooper? Okay, so. Like, this is where I went wrong in this story. Um, I'm going to be very careful because I don't want to say anything if this gets public because I'm not responding to this. But um, if you need to know what happened, like, I'm going to, you know, basically, uh, Natasha would have known um, or realized that me and you have, we're not going to have any more communication. Um, I've been her, the biggest advocate. I was the one who convinced her a lot of times, like, that, no, I really like her. You don't have to agree with what she does in her personal time or whatever. I was like, but you guys should collaborate. You know, you guys should do this. So I knew it was always, always going to come up, like, well, what the hell happened? So I have these text messages. Like, yeah, so I guess my question is, why did, we never would have had a falling out. Like, I didn't even think we had a falling out. I don't, like, listen, you know, like, this is what I mean by hindsight's always twenty twenty. <laughs> All I know is the way it happened with the way it went down with me and you and then I got blocked okay so basically Allie okay go on communication with, sorry all I had was communication with Allie and what Allie was saying was that you were and I'm not putting the blame on her like I this is how that she perceived it okay uh-huh. um that you know like I that you were denying how everything happened that- Snuffles watched the whole thing ask your boyfriend where you guys lie because MJ is starting problems again He's not my boyfriend. Maybe I should have been like more clear and I should have said fiance, but I said good. Tell Teresa to kiss my ass with her bullshit about James. It's pathetic. She needs to worry about her own shit show of a life. And yeah, the Andrea Power shit will be included in my C and D's. It's all pieces of a puzzle and they are starting to fit together. Because I told her about. I was I was, just giving the truth. I said, you can do better. She didn't say anything about James, Lana. But I know they hate each other. <laughs> Anyways, just wanted to interrupt because that's what I do. Um. Basically, all the messages that happened in Vanishing Code never existed. Only the messages that happened I never said that. right now is the only messages that ever took place between us. Now, that pissed me off because that's not the truth. Like, listen. I never said that. I never said that. I never said that at all. Um, hey, I'm a clover. This is, this is very, very interesting if you want to listen to this. I said, yeah, because it's even in my own words when I said, I can't write this here. Yeah. Like, I would never, I mean, come on. Yeah. Um, and so, like, that's what made me show her all the messages. Listen, I don't do well. Wait, did she ask you to show? Wait, did she ask you to show them? No, I offered, like, when we were, like, first before any messages happened, um, we were on the phone together for hours that night. When this all went down the night of your guys' panel. And um, after I heard, you know, like that, you reached out to her and basically brought her attention on me for no reason. Like a week and a half before, I don't know why you even told her I was messaging you or any of that. Because I was being honest. Because it was I was being honest with her. Right, but you weren't saying you weren't being honest when you weren't saying, "Hey, but I'm hitting her up too," you know, and I'm engaging a hundred percent. Well, because it was. I mean, it was. Uh... Hey, you might have been, listen, I'm not joking. Uh, well, I, I think how I think how that was is she knew that I had contact with you. She knew that you were in my DMs. Like, I mean, I, and she, you know, then she asked me if I was talking to anyone else. My time, and it's like, well, what do you mean? Okay, what's talking? Dating, talking, what's talking? What's dating? What's this? I was like, this is just, this is all so new, though. Also, go ahead, continue. I just want to know the. No, and I agree with that. I agree. And that's why when I was talking to Allie, I was like, you know, I, I expressed to her, there's no emotional connection here. You know, I was like, we would talk about random shit, like either the Wags or Rachel Del Tondo, like whatever you were doing at that time. And then mixed it with a sexual shit. I was like, was there any ever intention on acting on it? I was like, no. Did we ever have an emotional connection? No. Like, I again, I don't like girls, but I, you know, I've never done that before. I'm interested. It was fun, but that's all it was, you know? Um, but the... You were, you were telling her very explicitly.
were saying some very you you were you were you were saying some very explicit. I, I I guess I I guess I just yeah. Then you were I okay. Guess, listen. Okay. Go on. Go on. Go on. That's yeah. No, uh, that's fine. I'm just curious as to where like okay. Um, so, um, so already... So why did you, why did you hit her up, though, and tell her all about this in the first place? Okay, so, um, at first, I had the text message where I said, um, you know, it was only, like, a two, maybe two days after this all went down, I said, I didn't want to say anything, but I said, listen, just to give you a heads up, I won't be having any association with Lana moving forward. That was it. <laughs> yeah, because I wrote you on Sunday a text message, because... But Why? Why would you not be having any more association with me? Why? It doesn't make any sense. Because I because you're not going to be showing me your hoo-ha anymore. We can't. We're we're no longer to be associating. <laughs> exactly. She's not answering anything, but she does make some mistakes. Allie, I, I wrote that on purpose, and go ahead. Um, so, she, of course, she asked, you know, well, what do you mean this night? And I dodged it, and I didn't um, take it from any, you know, from that point on. I, I just was trying to, because it's nobody's business. Exactly. So all I ever cared about was yeah. Allie. I guess I just don't understand why you even went to Allie in the first place just to let Hey, Lana told me that you guys are gonna be dating, or that you know you're, she's gonna be pursuing a relationship with you. You told me twice in that show. You said, "Go ahead, ask her." She's, you're like, "Ask her if she's dating anyone." This, this, that. Well, because you said you said yeah, right. You said yeah, right. I didn't believe. It. Well, and honestly, the part that made me upset the most was if you guys genuinely had an emotional connection. We were. I believe you do. I believe you did. What I had a problem with is that. I felt you're disrespecting Allie by talking to me the way you were talking to me. And you did tell me, I was, you know, I officially started talking to someone and, you know, we can't continue this. But then why'd you hit me up the very next day? And I even said, just kiss. We're supposed to be no, 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 that's not when we officially started talking. Like, I, I have the moment, I have the first time I ever talked to Allie. But I only talked to her for 11 days. So what is she talking about back like a week and a half ago or two weeks ago? Be that'd be 14 days two weeks ago. Like, I think that this was going on in her head and she was fantasizing about me for a very long time. Like, yeah. that wasn't that time. It was already in my head that it was like, okay, well, because you guys basically started, I basically started talking to you both at the same damn time. It's not even, it's yeah, like, it, that's what it seems like. Yeah. It is, that's but the there truth. There was no emotional connection with me and you. It was always just fun and games. And, yeah. And, you know, that, it, it, was a, it was real with Allie, and I get that. And I, I, this was not ever supposed to turn into what it turned into. No. I never was the one who came out and was making it seem like you, like, yes, I did not like that you were lying and you were denying, and I thought you were a piece of shit for that. But did this, did I feel like a victim? So what? My friend, my good friend saw my tits. I don't give a shit out of big tits. That's what I think. I don't care. I never saw myself as a victim. The only thing I cared about was I don't do well when people are lying about me. I really well, you never asked me anything, so you don't know what I said. So that's hearsay if I was lying. I mean, I guess that's true, but I had no reason. But I don't understand why you're going to just take Allie's word, but you wouldn't take mine. Okay, well, that kind of comes in. I always wanted to try to resolve this. I suggested to Allie many times before this ever even got around to you know who. Um, and you know that Allie didn't really bring that to my attention that, you know, you wanted to, like, she said something like, well, most of you said something about, like, talking three-way, but I told her that you would never go for that. I was like, I was like why does she want to talk to us three-way, Allie? I don't get it. I said, I, this is our personal life. Like, I told you I was sorry and um the only reason i want to even the only reason i felt like i was even still involved like at that point i should have just been able to walk away yeah exactly I I as long as Allie knew hey this is what's going on i just don't want any secrets with you but i i support whatever you, you chose moving forward it wasn't until you know like it was you were well she said that you said that yeah. you said that no because because she said the words to me um and she said that you said that she deserved better than me that uh, you know okay so yeah so it wasn't until okay so you have to remember the first night that we talked, um, i told her everything but she had her own response to tell me she had the response of, 
Well, she was leading to me believe, like, yes, you slid into her DMs, but you're sending her all these videos and all these pictures, and you don't want them. You're not engaging. And she doesn't know how to get me to stop. I didn't like that because that's not the truth. Um, so, yeah, I was already pissed. But it wasn't until from there on out, and I showed Allie all the messages, and you know, she would tell me what you were saying in response, and it was basically, I'm jealous that you didn't pick me, you know, um, that, you know, like, uh, fuck Melissa, you know, if you can't, you know, like, if you continue to talk to her, that we're done, things like that. So, that's what's, what was getting me upset, and I'm like, why am I continuing? This is very interesting right here. Jealous that you didn't pick me, you know, um, that... You know, like, uh, fuck Melissa, you know, if you can't, you know, like, if you continue to talk to her, that we're done, things like that. So that's what's what was getting me upset. And I'm like, why am I continuing to be about, like, listen, you know, that's the truth of how it happened. Wait, that's, con that's continuing to get you upset because I said, fuck Melissa, who's blowing up the girl I'm talking to, calling her morning and night. Telling Larry that I'm the snake. Hmm. Let's see. Sick woman, man. Well, because Allie kept bringing your name up to me. Allie would keep taking low blows at me, and she'd be like, well, you don't want to put me up and do this to me? I'm like, what are you... I was like, seriously? That's why that... Allie started saying that stuff to me. And making comments... And I said, fuck Melissa Jade. I'm just saying, like, that's why your name would come. I was like, Allie, didn't we already squash this? I was like, this is... I had a life before I met you, Allie. Okay, my life... Like, I can't just be like... Like, there's a past. There's a present. There's a future. And no, I'm not... Melissa Jade, I never wanted to be... I was going to be rude to you. Okay? I was going to be shitty to you. Um, I had a mutual respect for you. I'm not even playing. Like, I mean, I mean that. Until, until this is how I am talking to this girl. June first, June first. I was told a version of this, and I'm just like, Allie, Melissa J didn't do me wrong because she wasn't my friend. If you guys are calling each other best friends and friends, her going to Tasha Cooper and 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 telling I fucked up with that. I thought, and when I went to her, I have to shine me very, very about what I said. Um, when I went to her, it wasn't with any other intention other than she reached out to me again and said, listen, I'm supposed to be doing this mock trial tonight. If there's something going on and I can't trust Lana, let me know. Wait, so wait, you're saying that Cooper t reached out to you? Again, yeah. I told her days prior that, listen, um, I won't be having any association with Lana moving forward. Why Why would you even think that we, we were going to like stop like, associating? You blocked me and you blocked me and I blocked you because I had a because I was pursuing with Allie and I wanted to give her security and and what do you mean? All I know is that I got blocked after I told you why. You know, because you said I would appreciate if you meant what you said when you said you would support me and Allie. And you never responded. I no, I said, Well, I, I wish you meant what you said when you promised me you would never share my news. And you said I didn't share anything, the Bible is that blocked me. And I knew that was a lie, because you did. Okay, what with Allie? As far as I know, only with Allie, and you may not have said it was me when you shared it, but that is the truth. And you wonder when I shared that? And it was because... said, like, a week and a half, two weeks prior, she said. No, like, the day you did it. The day you did it, because I was like, I am not going to get blamed, because... Okay, listen to my side of this. Do you know how many people have tried to befriend me, want to talk to me, do this shit with me, like, whatever... All because they want to like meet the Watts's or do you know be it, it's it it was insane the amount okay I believe that so and that's exactly why when you said I can't do this here and go into bash mode I said okay I was like well that's probably smart you know it has, I didn't take it as a bet I thought, took it as this girl can't trust anyone anybody would love an opportunity to get these screen recordings or what you're saying you know in an intimate um, setting out there I was like but now we have, like it's kind of um, it benefits us both. I didn't have to worry about anything getting out there either. Yeah, so, I'm, Melissa, I don't understand, though. Why Why would you... Clover, will you come up on panel? I have a couple questions.
When you want to talk about word salad, I don't know who's worse, Melissa Jade or uh, Kim Kaufman. Uh -uh. I just have a couple questions. It's not nothing bad. It's just uh, for timeline purposes. You can plead the fifth on whatever you want to plead the fifth on. Yes, let me get the laptop. Okay, perfect. Well, you guys are in the laptop. Or, well, she's in the laptop. Um, uh, 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 I have a question. Um, how am I feeling? I feel great. A million bucks. Here we'll go. Some more. You want, why would you let... Oh, God. Let me get back. Like, for now, we have, like, it's kind of... Um, it benefits us both. I didn't have to worry about anything getting out there either. Yeah, so, I'm, Melissa, I don't understand, though. Why? Why would you want... Why would you let... Oh, God. Okay, listen, I knew... That this some... is the part that I didn't understand. And I was like, why would... You have nothing to go and say to Natasha Cooper. No one's done you wrong. Nobody... I, I wasn't I wasn't blackmailing your porn. And what I'm doing right now is I'm scrolling all the way back, Melissa, to our messages. All of our messages. Mm -mm, love when you win me, babe. Mm -mm. Mm -mm, I blame the win. Oh, wait, let me look here. Uh, which around this? Oh, let's see. Ooh. Stuff was already set up. There's a setup going on. I I was the one that called Luda. I was the one that called Luda and said all that stuff because I knew I was being recorded. I'm not a moron. I don't know about listen. I haven't even known her for I, that long. I want to know when you started talking to her. Uh, it was uh, the day of the mock trial. The day of the mock trial. Like what? Like couple hours before she reached she meant to say the day of the sex panel reached out to me and she said listen if there's something that's going on with with lana and i can't trust her i appreciate if you let me know who wait cooper said that yes no, no, i'm talking about ludicrous oh i never had any i didn't even know who she was until uh that that day until I, until tuesday um, I'm sorry, each day has been blending in between. Okay, Tuesday is the day. Tuesday is Monday the day. was the mock trial, was it not? No, no, she, well, was she, she was supposed to go on Monday, but then she, she claimed that she was at the casino all night. Oh, okay, so then it was Tuesday? Wait, was that was that a lie or was that truth? No, she was she was at the casino. Okay, so then, like, but then Tuesday, um, I hadn't even talked to Ludacris, though. Yeah, I don't, I, I didn't know, I knew, I've heard of Lou's name. I don't know who she was. I've never had any contact with her. So it wasn't until Tuesday when I talked to, you know who, and uh, I said, you know, like, this is basically a brief rundown of what's going on that she brought to my attention that this story sounds familiar. So you said, you said, I can't be involved in the Montreal anymore, or I'm not talking to Lana. And she's like, why? What's going on? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? 
Um, no, it was days before. I didn't say anything about the mock draft. I kept it short and sweet. I have the screenshot. Like, I, all I said was, just so give heads up, I will not be having any association with Lana moving forward. Of course, she asked, well, why? What's going on? And I never answered. I just moved on because it's nobody's business. And it wasn't that big of a deal. Like I said, the only person I felt like I owed something to was Ali. Okay, so then why did, why did you even write that to Cooper? I don't get it. Because she was... Honestly, like I said, hindsight's always... You're, not, you're, you're seriously not going to sit here and tell me that you didn't do that because part of you secretly, subconsciously wanted to get out? No, not at all, 100%. Why the hell would I want that to get out? Okay, so that's why, that's, what, that's why I guess my question... This is the question she can't answer. This is the question she can't answer. Why did you go to Natasha Cooper? Why would you tell Natasha Cooper that, oh, hey, by the way, I just want to let you know I sent Lana nudes. Um, I was sexing with Lana. I think Lana's cool as shit. Oh, but by the way, she likes Allie. Have a good day, but I'm not going to be involved with the mock trial. Because <laughs> that's all that happened. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's have a guess. Answer. Hi. Hello. Welcome to Truth and Transparency. <laughs> Let me just pour a glass of cognac for myself here. Oh. Um, I do apologize that uh, I'm a little under the weather with having such a beautiful gust. <sighs> just don't slide into my DMs, you. okay? Okay, I'll try not to. Okay. Um, okay, I have a question about this timeline. I wonder if you could help. Well, I could try as best as I can remember. Um, okay, so my first question is, Melissa told me mm -hmm. that you, that she told you that she slid in my DMs. Yep. And that she was talking to me more than just as like a, an acquaintance. Yeah, yeah. What did, did you know that she was dating somebody then? No, I, you know, it's been said we were best friends. I, I didn't know anything of Melissa other than she had a daughter. We didn't talk that often. When we did, it was, oh, uh, it's such a long story. <laughs> no, no, that's, no, that's cool. Um, I, but yeah, no, I didn't know she had, um, the first time she called me, she did say she called me off her boyfriend's phone. Um, so this would have been, um, the whole thing on Mensa happened in February. So right around then, maybe early March. Okay. Um, perfect. Um, so did you know about Allie and her no. being really close friends? No. Um, the only thing I knew, um, once this, like I was saying in comments, once it started unraveling, she started sending me screenshots of something that I guess was sent between you and um, you and Allie. And I guess Allie maybe had screenshotted it, sent to her. She sent it to me. I can't remember what it said. Um, unfortunately, since then, just recently, my, uh, my Facebook was taken, taken from me. So um, what I had would be in Natasha's lives that she has up. Or down, but was it E and D? I don't know, Susie. She didn't say a name. Um, okay. but I will. I will say May May thirtieth. Um, I was sent three different messages from E and D, and then he dirty deleted them. Um, from wait, you on May thirtieth you sent messages from who? Her ex boyfriend, that E and D guy. Oh, okay. On Facebook. Um, gotcha. So, so when she told you that she was in my DMs, uh, and be in the way that, you know, whatever was going on, uh, did you say anything? Yeah, I was like, she goes, oh, we're having fun. She didn't say exactly at that point when I said this, but I said, get a girl. I was like, Google girl, get it. Um. I said, Lana, Lana, I can't say your name right. I said that um, you had a contagious um, charisma about you. You know what I mean? Like, I 
I don't know. I'm, I'm like an immature 12 year old at times. And the times <laughs> I did see you, like on Natasha's, I thought you were funny as shit. I know. I, I take pride in my, my funniness. <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> yeah, I, this just all like when you, when you hear this and you're just like, wait, this is 11 days. Mm -hmm. 11 days of me knowing this person, you know, uh -oh. um, 11 days. <clears throat> but yeah, that's it's craziness. I thought it was within so many hours she sent you the, the yeah, the, you know, I was looking back, I have it up here. I, I can go and look back. I mean, uh, let's see, when was this? What, what was the time frame? Uh, well, this is just when she says that she's going to tell me the truth. Do you hear her say Larry's name yet at all? I didn't hear. Oh, during the time? Yeah, no, I'm no, just saying I, like. I didn't like, hear Larry's mentioning of Larry until um, he went to the glare or whatever. He, She had said something to the I wish I had the messages. Um, something to the effect of, uh, I guess Dave was mad at Larry and I'm not quite sure if it was because he went on panel or went and said, not panel, but whatever he did over there. Um, that's when I knew. And I was like, oh, you told Larry and I'm thinking, damn, you told Larry and Dave and who else knows? <laughs> mm. Hmm. <laughs> yeah craziness but this was towards the end and it was during the time that i i, I do wish that i had the messages i don't um <clears throat> this is just based off my memory which isn't very good sometimes but um this was towards the end when she was telling me and i don't even remember how she came out saying other than i think she said she wasn't talking to you anymore i did contact her and i was like oh how's it with you and you and her or whatever and uh, she was saying something to the effect that you guys weren't talking anymore and i'm like why what happened and then she went into it and i was like what wait when was this this was at the end of of all of this happening before me and her wait the end of what like fast. what do you mean <laughs> I mean, okay, so this was right before all this started coming out. So, like, before she got on panel? Yes, yes. And so what did she tell you? Verbatim, what was her person to you? Was basically that you were sharing her nudes. And I was like, do what? And she's like, yeah, Amanda, <laughs> I, I sent her things. Wait a and... second, what? Yeah, you were sharing her nudes. And I was like, oh, my God, Melissa, you got to go to your local law enforcement. Because she was like, what do I do? And I'm like, call the cops. Like, I don't know. I've never done that. Um, but at that point, I was so pissed at you. Like, I was like, how could she do this? And and she's crying and she's hella mess. And, and you know, oh, it's horrible. I, I felt so bad for her. And, and. I was like, well, go to your local law enforcement. And I did say, ask Natasha what you could do. I did say that. So if she wants to blame me, I didn't say go have a damn panel, but I did say, ask Natasha what she would do. Um, then I guess she, instead of running to her and saying, oh my God, this happened. She just kind of did. So like, she didn't work. tell you, she didn't say, oh, Lana just shared. Did she say me and her talking her because she's going to pursue a relationship with Allie Erickson? No. No, she didn't say anything about Allie. She just said you were sharing her nudes. I didn't know who Allie was. Wait, what? Yeah, I didn't know who Allie was. I did not know who Allie was until she started sending me. Okay, so then I have a question then. Because mm -hmm. I shared a nude with Allie, like, mm -hmm. the day she sent that to me. Which, that's what I'm going back and looking and seeing the day. Because why didn't Allie tell... Melissa that I shared her nude if it was such a big deal. Because it wasn't I wasn't sharing nudes. That's the thing. Well, as it's far as that, I don't know much about that situation, but what I have heard is what she sent 
Okay, you sent the stuff to Allie, and then Allie somehow... How the hell did Melissa even know that happened? It's... Because Allie... Allie said... Allie wasn't happy with her. I, you know, Allie can speak for herself with that. I don't yeah, know. Okay. Ask Allie how that all went down. You know, I choose not to speak for her. That's okay, um, yeah, yeah. But I mean, and that's what I tried to say before when all this was going down. Hey, Allie, like, this girl isn't your friend anyway. She was already, if you're mad at me for for outing all of this, homegirl Melissa was sending me your stuff you were sending her. So, I mean, uh, I don't know. Natasha. Um. I'm just trying I don't to know. This, this is all a mess. It's such a mess. And I just, like I told Natasha, I couldn't see both of y'all going out like that. I just, it was so disgusting as far as you and, and Natasha, you were both being put in situations that never should have been a situation, if you feel me. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Um, but wow. So she just, so basically she came to you and she was like, Lana's sharing my nudes, plural. Hmm. Well, she didn't I say. had went to her as far as I can recollect I said to her hey girl what's up you know I don't know verbatim but I was like what's going on with you and you know Lana, Lana. And she was, yeah. she, well Lana sorry um, because that was the only thing that I, I actually found to be interesting with Melissa God forgive me for saying that but I, I just <laughs> <laughs> no, I me and pride her, in that. thank you me. no that's I mean I'm very thank you I'm flattered well, I'm just saying, I mean, me and her didn't, we were just two different people. I'm not going to say she's worse off. There's certain things that I will say that, but as far as personality types, I, you know, I'm, I'm different than she is and she's different than I am. But, um, mm -hmm. I don't know. I didn't think it was that serious. I didn't, I don't know. I didn't know it was going to come. Well, to yeah. I mean, why would you think it be that serious? Like, I think that that's exactly the way to put it. I mean, it's just a. Like, I just had like literally like eleven days to that point that she would have. Oh, we're not talking more because she's spreading my nudes around. Mm -hmm. Like, and then were you like, wait, for what? I was. I. <laughs> I did you say who did she send him to? How did you find I this was out? Like, oh my god, that's like worst case scenario for anybody. Like, why wait, wait, would did she you do that? Find this out? Did she just admit to you that she was sharing your nudes? Oh, yeah, she had told me that she did. She told me that she did. She said she was having fun and something. No, 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 I'm saying, did you ask her, how did you find out that Lana's sharing your nudes? I don't remember how all that went down, honestly. I was in such, oh, my God, <laughs> mode that I don't remember. Um I mean, I would have been in oh my god mode too because I would have been thinking, who's Lana sharing it with? Because what other straight women are hitting her up and wanting to listen to nudes? <laughs> well, I thought, I honestly thought, oh, she, yay! You know, maybe <laughs> I thought maybe you were sharing it via like YouTube, and I'm thinking, oh, oh my god, god, what? Girl, I ain't no criminal. I, I ain't know a killer, but don't push think. me. Revenge is like the sweetest joy next to getting what? <laughs> oh my god Natasha said she told me that Allie told her uh, it's so hard to remember like I said um, I'm not going to blame anybody but I, I no longer have a Facebook and, and prior okay. to that did, did, when she was talking to you did she ever mm -hmm. mention Vanessa or Father Steffels to you no now I will say, and I don't think it was Melissa, when I had a channel, there was a few that were trying to get me to watch it. They had done some sort of, I want to, I don't know if it was Christmas. I don't know. At the beginning of the video, it was Mariah Carey singing, and I only got that far. <laughs> God forgive me. I didn't watch anymore. I don't know what they were trying to get me to watch, um, but that's the only time I had ever heard of really um, a mess. Hold on one second. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna yeah. play something. Um, hey Loop Loop, Lana is in bed with COVID in case you didn't know. 
want it to get out? No, not at all. Hundred percent. How would I want that to get out? Okay, so that's what that's what that's where I guess my questioning is is that. Okay, go on. So then it wasn't until the day of your mom's trial that um, she reached out to me again because that was days before, um, and said, you know, like if there's something I need to know, you, you know, and I can't trust her, you got, you should let me know. So I gave her a brief rundown, and that's when she mentioned. And um, that dude was basically being blackmailed and stuff by you. You know that that's all a lie, right? I I don't trust anything at this point. Why? Well, I've been right? I've been doing it all. I don't know if you've been watching, but no, I have not been watching because I've been pushed to a very fucking bad place. Okay, well, Melissa, listen. If you're listen, that's why I can't, that's why I called you. Okay. Listen, hey, I called you for a reason. And I'm not an asshole, okay? And I'm trying to do my own thing. I want nothing to do with this moving forward. I'm sorry if there was it. All I know is my story. What I had happened is impacted me. I was already getting upset because we were told there were 16 victims. Who told you that? Remember. Who told you that? You know who? Okay, there were 16. 16 people? Yeah. Okay, listen, I'm taking her down. And I'm going to protect you, okay? I just, listen, listen, I want nothing to do with this moving forward. Right there, she says, I want nothing to do with this moving forward. Okay, now, if you, we see Melissa Jade, we see how she acts. Okay. okay. This woman has supposedly done all this shit to you. I'm taking her down, taking all the lies down. Tosh Cooper knows, and Tosh Cooper knows that she's gonna have to pay for what she's done, right? But here, this person now wants nothing to do with any of this. Mm -hmm. Why? A true crime creator doesn't want to know what the heck just happened, and if she was used as a pawn or if she wait a second oh i know why you want to go in the closet and hide mm -hmm. because it was you that got up on that panel mm -hmm. nobody made melissa jay get up there no absolutely not absolutely not and the minute she found out kim was up there it was a whole different story but whatever all right, I just wanted that. That's the only timeline I wanted from you was the um, the so you so you did talk to her prior to going on the panel, and just she just yeah. told you that we were no longer talking because I was passing around her nudes. But and I I do I don't remember verbatim again, um, but I, I did say since it, the whole panel was put up there, I did say hey because at that point I thought she was a victim. I was like, okay, well, if there's more people and all these people are on panel, you should speak your truth. Mm -hmm. There could be more, you know, what I, I feel so stupid now, but at the time I really, really, I mean, this girl was in tears and, and just, you couldn't understand half of what. And, and you know, said. what's crazy here is this is all a lie because I never said anything remotely to her about that. I was going to blackmail her porn. Who am I gonna? What am I gonna blackmail her with? Allie already knew about her. Allie already knew about thing. Allie knew about it all. So how could I blackmail her? What would I have blackmail her with? I may be completely wrong, but my my humble opinion here is: why was the everything sent to you so quickly, and then all of a sudden she's a victim? That'd be like, I mean, I've emailed you before. I don't know if you remember, but that was way back in Cooters. You never said anything to me that was derogatory, perverted, or anything of that nature. Yeah, so no. Why, why was this done, and it done in such a quickly fashion, and then all of a sudden she's a victim? Like, if it had never been done, oh, I don't know. It is what it is. You mean, are you saying, like, why so quickly? Like, was she, like, adamant to, like, get me nudes? Yeah. Oh, it, yeah. I mean, it was because she was because it was the I'm going to show a screenshot 
a little bit here and a little bit, it's going to blow people's minds away. Okay. And five, it's when Melissa basically is asked to be a part of something and that Father Snuffles wants her to be a part of. And she's saying, she says no. Ooh. So, um, but I'm going to go on and continue on with a little bit more of this stuff. All right. All right. Uh, but thank you for coming up here. I appreciate it. No problem. All right. Bye. Okay. Have fun. Nothing to do with she's that. Taking, she's already taking down her channel. She's already taking down. I've already gone to authorities. I would have happy you did because that's the only way things are going to get exposed. Do I think, do I not like how you handled the situation with me? Yes. But if there are things that are being said about you, that this is none of this is true. You should go to authorities. You need to. I'm you, sorry that I, I need to inadvertently cause this by telling Natasha. Oh shit. By telling her, I'm sorry, that was not my intention. But I begged, I said I just can't believe that you told her this. I can't believe that you said Allie's name. Why wouldn't you just say Lana like I did initially. I did wish I didn't use names and it wasn't until Tasha told me about mood and all this that I reached out to Allie and I said, Listen, I told Natasha, you know, like she's coming, she's telling me all about this. Do you want me to do a three way? And that's the only reason that that group I suppose was created yeah with you with the middle finger yes because i had no idea how to play call between both of them without all being in one group so that is where it happened from there and everything snowballed from there but i can only assure you this is not what me and ali wanted we never wanted to come public we never thought it should go public everything that all the serious stuff was all you had to do is i told ali this go public with what Melissa, what is it to go public with? You just want to go to TMZ and say, yeah, I was, uh, I, I sexed with Lana Oriani. And she told me that we couldn't do it any, couldn't do that anymore. And that she was going to pursue a relationship with somebody else. I mean, wh what? I'm like, who's the, Ellie, what do I do over here for a living? If you would have came to me, I would have told you everything that was going on. And she's like, I know, I believe the wrong people. But you were saying, you were telling Allie, I saw the screenshots, you were saying, yeah, there's many, many people. I want to know names. Oh, no, 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 no. Me and Allie would ask, so how many people have come over? So, you know, because the entire point, you know, like, I never agreed with it. But as soon as she said, well, I'm going to have to go live and I'm going to have to explain why I'm not going to be engaging in this mock trial. You, know, you could just make a community post and simply say, I'm not going to be engaging in the mock trial. But the way, you know, she wanted to do it is because but we need to reach out to anybody that, you know, is a victim. Or <laughs> is a victim of what? <laughs> like, were you like a victim of what? A victim? I, that's why when I find, like, and you don't understand the amounts, not of offense, not Sure, I had to get on that panel, and I did not want to. And that's why the first thing I said was, "I am not a victim. I do not feel like." Did Kim? Oh, hold on one second. Hold on one second. Yeah. Can I ask you a question? Did Kim Kaufman reach out to you? No. Did you reach out to Kim Kaufman? Uh, I sent her an email. Uh, not, not yesterday, the day before. Oh, the, day, uh, the day before, I believe. I said, "Listen, um, I would just appreciate if I know there's a lot being said about me." Um, but I would appreciate if uh, you just don't automatically believe it. Don't mistake it by sense for guilt. And uh, you don't have to respond to this. But um, thank you for coming forward. And I, I hope you have a great day. Something along those lines. Thank you for coming forward. Thank you. Wait, you need to see my live. Kim's in a live. Thank you for coming forward, Kim, so that uh, we can all lie to each other. Okay, this is my conversation here, guys, with Melissa Jade, June 1st. 2021. Oh, no, that's because it's on a recording. All my devices are totally charged. Promise. That's from the recording. But good ears will be good ears. See, that's why you're Team Lana. Um, June 1st, 2021 recording. Okay. This is her truth. This is Melissa J's truth. She has no reason to lie. She just doesn't want you know who making any content, okay? And and I'm just doing what I do. I'm getting the information 
I'm getting what I need. Okay. I'm asking her questions. She clearly, we see the ones that she's totally eluding and not answering. I can't. I can't. That's fine. It has nothing to do with you. I can't. Okay. Like, I don't think you understand. I've never met for this. And I, I, I'm not in a good place right now. And someone is lying about me. Straight up lying about me. Who is? And Who is? Natasha. Everything he's saying is a lie. The way it went down is a lie. And the reason that she threw me under the bus is because I pulled out. I realized I was being used. And the situation was being used. And I said, I'm not going on. I'm done. I'm okay. Done. Okay. Perfect. And so let me ask. She's saying right here to me that she was being used by Natasha. This is what she tells me June 1st. This is after the sex panel. <laughs> what? <laughs> so um, I'm new here. So Lana, you've been hooking up with someone from Unmasked? No. <laughs> No. Oh, fuck. No. They have a little, but they do have a big old cesspool going on over there, I guess. Oh, God. This isn't a phone call. This is an interview. When you commit crimes, you get interviewed. Or when you're alleged, allegedly committing crimes. Let me ask you this. So let me ask you this. <laughs> Did she give you Ludacris's and they're like, did you guys even read it? That has, that, that wasn't even between me and Lude. That was between her and Lude. I, I saw the screenshots and all this. I was like, yeah, this is Ludacris reaching out to Natasha Cooper in like April and earlier. They've been talking for months. Do you know that? I know that. Well, I, now I know that, but um, I, like I said, I didn't even know who Lude was. I heard her name. Now, do you want me to tell you why this all happened? Because they thought I was going to expose the NK AMP channel. Yeah. I give a shit. What are you talking about? Yeah. Like, I've had way bigger fish. I don't give a shit what channels you guys have. I don't watch your shit. Your shit's so stupid. Like, you got no content. You don't even talk about a God blessed thing that remotely about true crime. But, Melissa Jade, just so you know, because you deserve to hear this, um, Latasha Cooper and Kim before that panel well natasha told me that you know kim reached out to her i don't i don't know anything about the kim situation now i'm not gonna say anything bad about her wait I she was about to say well natasha cooper told me that i don't know anything about the kim situation <laughs> what is it i was trying to get some good info good info um And she was about to. Well, thank you for answering. Oh, you're welcome. This, yeah, no, 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 no. Father Snuffles is the one that's getting with all of the unmasked members or whatever. I don't even know what they're doing over there. Go ask, go ask Vanessa what's going on with unmasked and uh, porn. I don't know her. The only thing I can speak about is my experience of what I went through. But all she told me is that she she talked to her the night before, and that's why she came on panel to try to... How would, how would, let me ask you a question. So right here, she tells me that she talked to Kim the night before, and that's how she was able to get her to come on panel. So did you hear that, Natasha? Okay, we'll play it right here about the Kim situation. I'm not going to say anything bad about her because I don't know her. The only thing I can speak about is my experience of what I went through. But all she told me is that she she talked to her the night before and that's why she came on panel to try to... How would, how would, let me ask you a question then. How would Kim Kaufman know anything about this? I don't know. Because when you guys went on panel was on... Thursday, you know what I mean? And so they would have talked Wednesday. Me and Lude made that. You, So you guys were given. I didn't do. I didn't, I didn't have Ludacris's porn. I didn't have any, anything like that. That was the biggest. That was all, was all a setup. Because to get Kim's credibility back. And you and Allie were freaking collateral damage. But at the time, June 1st, I didn't know 
what I knew Melissa Jane was collateral damage. I didn't yet yet know where the like, who's collateral damage she was. Okay, Melissa Allie is Melissa Jade's collateral damage. Okay, and. <clears throat> I was waiting for you to comment. Peace. Um, Just so you know. Well, you know what? Like, it wasn't until uh, I was never going to do anything, but it wasn't until that audio came out of you saying that you were going to go live and you know like messages so when i said that was a joke in days i haven't stopped crying in days i haven't stopped Melissa, Melissa, Melissa. i led to believe that there was going to be if i don't get i can't hear you, you uh, wait, what, okay what's that you you were saying if you don't come for what that you know, like, so I already heard with my own ears that you said you were going to go with that, you know, go do the mock child, whatever. You know, you were going to reenact our messages. You wanted you to talk in my voice. That was on Wednesday, Melissa. That was on Wednesday, Melissa. You talked to Allie Friday night, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday. The Luda conversation was on Wednesday. with the messages. Oh my gosh, she's so full of shit. I was freaking out, but you didn't do it that night, okay? You didn't. So I thought, okay, it's done. You know, like, I don't have to continue this. But I was told, there was many things I was told, okay? And I'm just, I don't even want to talk about it. Like I said, I know I'm more important. I need to handle something behind the scenes. Oh, there you go, Winnie Poo Poo. I already know I'm being recorded. There you go, Winnie Poo Poo. I already know I'm being recorded. Okay, it's done. You know, like, I don't have to continue this. But I was told, there was many things I was told, okay? And I'm just, I don't even want to talk about it. Like I said, I know I'm already being recorded. I need to handle something behind the scenes. I'm handling it all behind the scenes. I just need the truth, hung, and I can help you, okay? I know that you're a victim of all this. I'm, I'm trying. No, I don't feel like a victim of anything except bullying. 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 Yeah. bullying. Okay, that's what I mean by it. That's what I mean. But I'm saying that Kim used you. Kim's, Kim's lying about everything. My past with her, and I just exposed it all. And people are like, holy shit, they couldn't even believe it. You should watch. I'm telling you. Pretty far. I knew this was happening. This has been, this has been happening since 2019. KK is using Gina in a group chat. Okay. So they created this group chat. Andrew Powers is in it. Gina, Janet. Lynn, Luda, and then random people, uh, Cheyenne Monk, Kimberly Dean, Danielle J. All these people knew this was going on. Like people from Unmass had this. So I'm really waiting for, um, for a couple people to speak out on it, but I'll just keep, I'll just keep exposing. Just so you know, this is, and, um, <laughs> okay, so where, where's Allie's involvement? That's laughable. We're both always the ones saying, no, <laughs> please, we don't, you know, like, yes, we were made to believe that there were 16 other victims. The only thing we never knew really was you know like we didn't know who she was but then this girl's coming forward and she's you know she's helping as far as sending us these audio recordings but you do know it was natasha and Lou who released all those right they're an idiot okay because i was in the group when lude was up with them. and then i guess they got pissed that you didn't go through all of my screenshot be like all of my messages with you um so they released it no melissa they released all of the audio because I had said how you had sent me unsolicited porn. And you didn't want that part to ever come out. Because it changed, totally changed the narrative. They did that. <laughs> I don't even know if you know 
that there's a channel like Shazam, what a perv, or whatever, they released all that audio to humiliate me. They released what audio? The audio that we had recorded. All 45 minutes of it? I don't know. I haven't checked. But yes, I'm pretty sure. Uh, I'm going to take it down. I mean, they're all getting sued, just so you know. Do you I know have screenshots of Lude upload? Because she at that point, it was only being uploaded because there was no way she said she could send them for me to hear it. So she uploaded it and did it like private. So She's only lying. Could hear She's it. Lying. And then all of a sudden, you know, someone commented on, you know, a community post, um, you know, under that channel saying all the audio is here. Cool. And they are. Wait a second. Okay, what about this porn? What the hell? I, I didn't do anything like that. All I know is that it happened. Like, I felt awful because Lude gave me the permission to play um, the, just the end of that audio recording. Um, and then I did. And then um, all of a sudden, there was a rocket man in the chat, you know, and they were talking, it seemed like, in first person as it was. You, and then the next thing we know, we're notified that there was an upload and it was that porn video. And I felt awful because I felt like this. Has she once yet mentioned Larry or Dave? This girl came out to try to help me and she outed herself. And this is exactly what. No, you were part of the plan. Do you know what she sent me? Just so you know, you want to know what she sent me? She sent me the ending clip to cruel intentions and she sent that to me in a text message the other day and she said hey babe what you think about all those videos i posted and then she's like i saw what the heck did she say just so you know do you, do you know who lude is do you know who it is no i don't want to say a name apologize i said i'm sorry i'm like um but i didn't even tell natasha that it was ali at that point i didn't say names but i said she has this bunch of information regarding you know like you know it goes beyond us she said so i said do you want to do a three-way call and talk so she could tell you what she's telling me and she said okay so i called natasha back and i told her who it was and we created that group so we can have a three-way call it was never supposed to be anything uh, like besides just telling us what we all knew. Okay, I need the screenshots of Luda uploading stuff. Please. Listen, I am, if you want to handle things behind closed doors and you need a death I, I do. That. I will not go on my channel. So, again, this is June 1st. June 1st, 2021. I talked to Allie today. Um, let's see. Well, Allie wasn't bringing it to me like that because Allie didn't want to talk. I don't know. She'd have to talk for herself. She just, she apologized. She said, you know, I listened to the wrong people. I did this. But she was like, I'm telling you, I don't, Melissa's not in a good state. It's not Melissa. She's being bullied by, you know, by this. She's like, man, I promise I went down. And Tosh Cooper's the one behind this. I promise. I promise. That's what Allie was telling me. And I was telling Allie she's wrong. And I was like, no, you guys don't understand how way deeper it goes. So this actually has you probably questioned whether I was a part of it. And at this point, like every everything that could have been said about me, the amount of hate that I'm getting, it's already out there. So at this point, I'm like, fuck it, you know, like Well, I can help that. I can help with that. Okay. No, it's fine. I don't listen, I don't want my name mentioned. You know, like it's a different if you feel like listen, if this didn't happen the way it they said it happened, if you were the one who least for I don't know. I don't think I don't trust any. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding? I proved it. So you haven't seen my shit. That's you just haven't seen my stuff. No, I didn't know, but at this point, I think it might be you know who. I know who it was. It was this.
Testing. Test. There we go. I was the one that called Ludacris. I called her because I knew that B was recording me because she was already doing crazy shit and she's being weird. And and so I was like, um, something's up here and she's part of the plan. I know what's going something's going on behind the scenes here. KK went silent for a minute because she had no choice. Um, because I basically outed her in my Facebook group because I was so sick and tired of her shit. And then and then I just brought, I came with all the receipts when I did my last two lives. And I said, you know, I literally blew up Watts Island. And trust me, you're not the ones being talked about right now. I said, if you want to handle things behind the scenes, and I understand if this isn't true, you need to say it. It is not true, Melissa. I would be calling you if it was. Why and, I, and I understand that. The only thing I am, I understand you are very well. If you want to handle this behind the scenes, I have no problem telling anybody what my part was and how far it went because that's the only okay so how far to go with your part are you uh, did you commit any crimes Melissa? no what what crimes the only thing i did was trust the fucking friends trust someone that i thought was a friend and then meanwhile she was setting up the whole time the only thing i did was trust a friend saying natasha cooper In, in a real court of law, no judge would allow only bits of audio as evidence to be played in a jury was to decide who to believe on who's guilty. Who's playing bits? <laughs> uh, this ain't bits. I got nothing to hide. Nothing to hide. There was a orchestrated you know what orchestrated is? You know what that word means? And they cross state lines to do it. They use telecommunications to commit this orchestrated act against me. But you keep on with what you There want. is no Luda, Viva, Bibiani. Did you know that? No. Yeah, well, watch your girl. That's what I really think for me not to because when I say I'm not doing the mental things right now because of how this went down, I'm really not. So the only thing I ask is not to like if if you put this like play this. This this was in the works. Her and Luda, okay, going on. Funny, I because you haven't seen everything. This goes way deeper than this. I'm telling you, you're I'm. I'm gonna be able to help you, okay? I promise. I don't listen. I know that you don't want my help. I know you she doesn't want my help. I said this goes way deeper. And she didn't want it to go any deeper. She wanted to stop. Okay. Here come the tears. <laughs> and and once again, it's just all about her. I'm over here like, wait a second, you got a sex, you got a panel and had no problem like doing all this stuff. The reason you are the way that you are right now, Melissa, because of you that's it's guilt. You feel guilty because you know what you've done. And I think that there's things, Melissa, that you didn't realize were gonna happen that happened. Because if you think people like Vanessa and people like Father Snuffles are your friend, Melissa. They only care about themselves. They don't care about the truth. There is no truth. Focusing on me, my channel, my contact. So I understand you need to do whatever you need to do. And, and anything that I did, I will tell my truth that this is my truth. And if you are if you didn't drop that one, like if you didn't do these things, then absolutely you should pursue it. The only thing I'm asking is publicly, please, please, I can't. I just, I want nothing to do with her. I will not be her content. I realized this situation and what happened was used as content. And that's when I said I'm done. Because after the, the amount of pressure I got to come out on that first panel, I was told, now you're free. And it wasn't until the next day that another live was about to be made and another panel was like, hey, okay. and I said, but why? And it was, we need to read as many victims as we can. I said, that's what yesterday was about. Wait, wait, what happened? Wait, what happened the second day? 
I was told, listen, I was told many things. This is what people don't understand. That there's this small group that you're in, you know, like with Johnny Durango, Kitty Sanders. I don't, I don't even know who, because I'm not trying to retain this information. And basically, you dropped something that said there's going to be a huge drop. Something big is coming. You know who led me to believe that that was about me? That it Wait a second. This is the this is the big slip up here. This is the same group that Luda Vigabiani is talking about yesterday. Lana, you need to get in that group chat with Kim or with Andrea Powers, Gina, J uh, Judy, aka Lynn, Scarlett. Listen to this right here. This is this is from June first, two thousand twenty-one. June first. Like with Johnny Durango, Kitty Sanders. Wait, what happened the second day? So the next step be her content. I realized this situation and what happened was used as content. And that's when I said, I'm done. Because after the, the amount of pressure I got to come out on that first panel, I was told, now you're free. And it wasn't until the next day that another live was about to be made. And another panel was like, hey, day. And I said, but why? And it was, we need to reach as many victims as we can. I said, but that's what yesterday was about. Wait, wait, what happened, wait, what happened the second day? I was told, listen, I was told many things. This is what people don't understand. That there's this small group that you're in, you know, like with Johnny Durango, Kitty Sanders. I don't, I don't even know who, because I'm not trying to retain this information. And basically, you dropped something that said there's going to be a huge drop. Something big is coming. You know who led me to believe that that was about me? That if I didn't get out ahead of this, you heard Lana with your own ears say she's going to come and she's going to read out those messages. I begged. I said, please, I haven't slept. I stopped crying. I've been throwing up. I've been hyperventilating. I can't make any decisions in this mental state. I kept begging. I said, please, like, just let me go take a shower and rest my eyes. Like, I'm not thinking straight. But they kept convincing me. If, if you Who's they? Who is they? Sorry, what'd you say? You said you said they kept convincing me. Well, it was really, you know who. You know, um, it was really, you know who convincing me that. And it was someone I thought was my friend that finally when the panel was up. And if you go back to that night, you know who was constantly dropping the link saying, you know, I'm trying to get the support. She stopped answering me, okay, for hours. Because I said, I don't want to do it. And she got so mad, she said, I have to leave this group before I say something that I shouldn't have. So I don't know what friend is mad that I want this to stop, that I don't want this to go farther. Um, if, if other people really are being blackmailed, and they're, they should be the ones coming forward. My story is irrelevant in this. Yeah, you were not blackmailed at all. You were black. Not at all. She was saying that I was black, but that's how much she was. Not at all. Did you hear her say that? Not at all. Not at all. Stop that. I don't want this to go farther. Um, if, if other people really are being blackmailed, and they're, they should be the ones coming forward. My story is irrelevant in this. Yeah, you were not blackmailed at all. Not you weren't black. Not at all. She was saying that I was black. Not at all. Thank you, Melissa Jade. Not at all. But that's how much she was claiming that I was blackmailing you. And that's the problem I had, and I kept saying, listen, she, like, Lana didn't know that Allie was talking to Natasha. Now, it wasn't Allie's fault, okay? I made the mistake, and I did I own up to that. But she, I, what I thought also was, you didn't know Lude was talking to her. So, in, I kept saying, in Lana's viewpoint, in her eyes, I am the one coming forward saying that I thought I had a real relationship with her, and she spread all my news, and uh, you know, I'm being blackmailed. I said, she thinks I'm saying all of this, so all of her hate, all of her is coming towards me, and I'm, and you're making me look like I really am a scorned woman, you know? I'm, I'm like, you're making me look like exactly what you're claiming I am, and I was like, it's not fair, because that's not my story. Yes, Allie was the one who had the emotional connection with you. Yes, Lude was the one, apparently, allegedly, who was getting blackmailed. Me? Yeah, she showed Allie my, my tits. Okay. You know, and she lied about, she, uh, to what I was made to believe is you lied about you know, our relationship and that it was just only me. That's as much as, I'm not the victim though. You know, it like, wasn't, it, it was definitely not only you. It takes two to sex. So no, that's not true. Yeah. But I mean, it, it wasn't something ever made to come public. Like my story is nothing. 
this, that's what I was trying to. That's what I was trying to explain to Allie. I'm like, Allie, what do you mean you're going to make us? What are you talking about? I was like, these people are lying, and you're you're seeing, they're making stuff up about you, about Melissa. I said, this ludicrous girl. She's lu- her name's not even ludicrous. I should tell you something. Get on panel and show your face, Kim. Get on panel and show your face, Kim Coffin. And and I haven't put my phone down. I was on the phone with Allie and her non-stop okay so after hearing the audio of saying you know you want to go pick up loot and you want to reenact our messages obviously i believe that something was going to happen it was easier for me to believe that this was going to happen because i heard it from your own mouth but you did it during your thing you didn't so i was like oh the amount of relief like i can't tell you i'm shaking and- has she yet mentioned larry no no mentioning of larry and that she talked to larry and told him all this fucking whacked out shit. He knew that. And I was like, you know what I don't understand? You know what I don't understand? Is why didn't Allie say something to me at some point and say, Lana, like, I just can't believe that Allie wouldn't say, that doesn't, wait, first of all, that doesn't make sense because I didn't make that video. But th- wait, this doesn't make sense. Hold on, back up. I went on my Wednesday live. Um, I didn't go, like, you guys were on panel on Thursday. Yeah, on my Wednesday live, I didn't do anything like that, and you guys wouldn't have, like, how, my question is, how was Ludacris involved in this before I ever made the Snapchat phone call with her? Bingo! Um, like I said, when it was the first time you heard, I just need a date, it's really important. Was it Monday, Tuesday? I know Wednesday's when I called her. So I just the day that the mock trial was supposed to happen with Natasha going on um, on your panel, and that was the first time I even heard new claim get brought up, and it was through Natasha. It wasn't until the next day that um, Natasha put me on her phone, and I was oh she put me she was on the phone. I was on the phone with her, and she was on the phone with me. We didn't know I was on the phone allegedly. Now I don't trust anything, but um, she was having me listening to the recorded um, messages of you, you know, the recorded phone call of you, and it was about you going live that night, and you wanted to go pick up Lude, and Lude even said that you were on your way, you said, I don't know your exact address, but I'm heading towards you, you know, like, you know, so, so tell me your address. Um, I, I'm not saying it's true, I'm not saying it's not you, I don't fucking know, all I know is my, my part of it, um, but then when you... So, obviously, I believe that you were going to do that. Why wouldn't I believe that? But you didn't, okay? So, I got, like, okay, maybe it's... I didn't somebody just ask Luke, like, when someone say, well, does she even have your address? Because I, I said I said this all up on purpose. I texted her, I said, oh, so what's your address? And she couldn't give it to me. She couldn't give it to me, and I was like, got you. Because you don't... I was like, babe, girl, I know what I'm doing. I don't know. I was never going to do that. I would never, why would I ever do that? Think about it. Like, I'm I'm in the Sheldon Tudor Jr. case. I need to do and say that. I knew that everybody would start slipping up. So I pushed the hand and then make it all fall so that I can take it all down. Because this was set up, this was set up with Kim Kaufman. I don't know what the setup is. I know it is. I know. Kim Kaufman, Andrea Powers, Gina, Father Snuffles, Melissa Jade. Uh, you guys know what trolls do? Oh, it was my OG's friend. Uh, she was me like, have I ever seen you wrong? You know, like... Amanda, Partners in Crimes? Yeah. She's like, have I... I have all these messages, screenshots. Have I ever seen... Do you have a boyfriend? What? Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I don't have a boyfriend. Um, I'm, I'm talking to someone, but he's in Michigan and I'm not, you know, like, um, so yeah, we talk, but, uh, he knows all about this now. Um, and that's what, you know, like they're trying to do is that this friend, <laughs> oh, I don't want to get it. Yeah, no, 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 just go on, just go on. Just tell me where this whole Larry thing comes in. Um, so what I, so it was the night before I actually got on panel. Um, it was right after. Natasha went live with explaining why she wasn't going to go forward with the mock trial. He reached out to me and he said, uh, you know, like, listen, I don't know 
but I'm not here for you, you know, this is not if you want to talk. God, why would you ever oh, talk God. to that slime? <laughs> okay, why would you ever talk to any of these people? <laughs> Well, at that point, what I was my after when he did to like Dave and he, he, he this guy's a dog, man. Jesus. Listen, hindsight's listen. I don't, I don't think I can say this as much as I can. I'm not in Why would I don't understand? I'm just talking to Allie. You guys are talking all the time. Just keep talking to her. So what I thought was because they told me that you had already told your mom that I was this sport and you know like lying about me. So already and. You know, Natasha was like, yeah, because Larry lied to you. Larry lied to you, didn't he? Well, hold on. I'm talking about what led me to this. So, Natasha told me, people already know what your name was. You know, like, they know that you're, you know, like, they, that you haven't been um, in the chats and stuff. So, I figured, all right, I don't need to go public with this. I was like, this isn't my story to tell, and I didn't want to. I was like, but what I'll do is anybody who reaches out to me that I already have a relationship with, I will tell my small little part of this. And move forward, just so that they know anything that comes out from here on out. If it's true, if it's not, this is what happened. So he reached out to me, and I gave him a very small breakdown. I didn't drop Ali's name. Um, I didn't drop Luke's name. All I said was my apartment. And the next thing I know is, like, he goes on panel, and he may as well send my name, you know, because um, he's like, this person is a mod of mine. But then I got... I, mad again because once again you're making it seem like i'm the one who is claiming i got blackmailed or you know like i'm the one who thought i was gonna really like i was like that's not my story for the millionth time like my thing is so minute um but he apologized after that you know like but it's you know like i said this has been the biggest eye opener nobody gives a shit about anybody nobody is your friend everybody is out to look for themselves that's all this is okay so wait let's see if what she tells me on June 1st... I was like, but what I'll do is anybody who reaches out to me that I already have a relationship with, I will tell them my small little part of this and move forward just so that they know anything that comes out from here on out. If it's true, if not, this is what happens. So he reached out to me and I gave him a very small breakdown. I didn't drop out of name. Um, I didn't drop Luke's name. All I said was my part of this. Okay, let's see. Let's see what you guys can judge if Melissa was being truthful here. Did Larry reach out? She reached out to Larry. Lie number one. Just to let you know, you are absolutely right about Lana. Okay. Let's go back to see what she tells me again. Just because we don't want to mess this up. This is, you got to make sure we get this right. Girl, she's lit. You know, like, we and our message. She, you guys were on panel. Well, I guess, sure. When it was the first time you heard, I just need a date. It's really important. And it was through Natasha. It wasn't until the next time he the recorded uh, message. Uh, so I got, like, okay, maybe. It's so then why did someone just ask Ludacris, like, why didn't someone say, well, does she even have your address? Or why would I ever do that? I think it was Kim Kaufman. Sure, I finally came on panel. I had my, my what I thought was my OG friend uh, who was messaging me like, "Have I ever steered you wrong?" You know, like Amanda, uh, partners in crime. Yeah, she's like, "Have I?" And I have all these messages, screenshots. Have I ever? Steered do you have a boyfriend? What? Do you have a boyfriend? Uh, no, I don't have a boyfriend. I'm asking her if she has a boyfriend because. <laughs> Why would I think that she did? I'm just like blown, you know, here. Friend. Um, I'm, I'm talking to someone. He's in Michigan and I'm not, you know, like, um, so yeah, we talk, but uh, he knows all about this. Um, and that's what, you know, like they're trying to do is that this friend, uh, I don't want to get 
Yeah, no, no, just go on, just go on. Just tell me where this whole Larry thing comes in. Um, so, what I, it was the night before I actually got on panel. Um, it was right after Natasha went live with explaining why she wasn't going to go forward with the mock child. He reached out to me and he said, uh, you know, like, listen, I don't... Okay. May 25th, guys. 825. Just let you know. You were absolutely right about Lana, Larry says. What did she do now? I seriously don't even watch her. I decided to take a big break and rethink my direction. These people are horrible online. And no matter what receipts you show or how much you argue, they don't stop. The drama is their fuel. It's exhausting. But I'm interested in what I miss. What happened? Melissa, honestly, it wasn't something that happened publicly. It was something that happened privately, but behind the scenes. She has manipulated me and a few other creators slash people and revealed the true snake that she is. This is before any effing phone call that I made to Ludovic Ubiani. Because that happened on the 26th. So what creators is she talking about? Um, well, I'm here if you need anyone to vent to reach out. You're doing great with your channel, just keep being you and trust no one. I appreciate that actually more than you know. Oh, wait, hold on, that's out of order. Okay, here it is. Sorry. She has manipulated me and a few other creators, people, the true snake that she is. It wasn't until we, it wasn't until we all started speaking that we found out what's really been going on. Who has we been speaking? What's really going on? Remember, this is, this is on the 25th. The panel wasn't until the 27th. So this is Tuesday. Okay. Tasha pulled out from being NA in the mock trial. She is going live tonight to explain why. Wow, I'm so sorry. I'm late to the live and still trying to figure out what's going on. That was Tuesday night. Okay. At 11 11. Don't apologize, lol. There are a few stories intertwined, but she played a dirty game. Where is this talk, Melissa Jade? Where is this all in your telling me the truth? I don't know what's going on. I don't care for you. You know, this is that. If you want to talk, why would you ever talk to that slime? To fly? Okay, why would you ever talk to any of these people? <laughs> Well, at that point, what I was my mom after what he did to like Dave and he, he, he this guy's a dog, man. Jesus, listen, hindsight's listen. I don't, I don't think I can convey this as much as I can. I'm not in right. Now. Why were I don't understand? I'm just talking to Allie. You guys are talking all the time. Keep talking to her. So what I thought was because they told me that you had already told your mods that I was this scorned woman and you know like lied about me. So already, and you know, Natasha was like. Yeah. Larry lied to you. Larry lied to you, didn't he? Well, hold on. I'm talking about what led me to this. So, Natasha, people already know what your name is. You know, like, they know that you're, you know, like, they, that you haven't been um, in the chat and stuff. So, I figured, all right, I don't need to come public with this. I was like, this isn't my story to tell, and I didn't want to. I was like, but what I'll do is anybody who reaches out to me that I already have a relationship with, I will tell my so little part of this, and forward just so that they know she will tell her small little part in this <laughs> oh fuck me man oh hell to the fuck no i will tell my small little part in this this is my story to tell and i didn't want to i was like but what i'll do is anybody who reaches out to me that i already have a relationship with i will tell my small little part in this and move forward just so that they know anything that comes out from here on out it's true it's not, this is what 
So he reached out to me, and I gave him a very small breakdown. I didn't drop Ali's name. Um, I dropped Luke's name. All I said was my part in this. And the next thing I know is, like, he goes on hell, and he may as well have said my name, you know, because um, he's like, this person. Wait, all she said was what? I didn't drop Luke's name. All I said was my part in this. And the next thing I know is, like, he goes on panel, and he may as well have said her all she did was tell her part in this okay well let's see my little small part here let's see melissa tasha pulled out from being in the mock trial she's going live tonight to explain why wow i'm so sorry i'm late to the live don't apologize there's a few stories are fine but she played a dirty game I can't believe this. I mean, it doesn't surprise me. I saw through her from the start, but it's horrible that she'd do this. Are you one of the victims? Are you one of the victims? Let's hear. said my name, you know, because um, he's like, this person is a mod of mine. But then I got mad again because, once again, you're making it seem like I'm the one who is claiming I got blackmailed or... You know, like, I'm the one who thought I was in a really, like, I was like, that's not my story for the millionth time. Like, my thing is so minute. Um, but he apologized after that, you know, like, but it's, you know, like I said, this has been the biggest eye opener. Nobody gives a shit about anybody. Wait a second. How is this Larry having confused Melissa right here? It's embarrassing, Larry. Yes, I'm intertwined in this. But no, I was not the one who had feelings or thought I was in a relationship with Lana. It's embarrassing, Larry. Yes, I'm intertwined in this, but no. So yes, you are a victim. I said. He says, "Are you one of the victims?" She's like, "It's embarrassing, Larry." Yes, that's his only question, and she answers it. Yes. How could Larry be not clear with your answer, Melissa? And you told him this. And this is why he went on the glare. Or I should say why he went on the glare. But this is what he, you did this. You. Then you say, I was just screwing around and having fun until she took a turn. Until shit took a turn. What shit was that? I was just, I was just screwing around and having fun until shit took a turn. What took a turn, Melissa? Me telling you I will no longer be involved in any inappropriate DMing. She intentionally played us creators against each other, exposed things, threatened one of them. She is a snake. <laughs> wow, what a nut job. <coughs> Ooh. I appreciate it. I'm usually a good judge of character. I don't know how I could be so far off with this one. So she writes this to Larry. Listen to this. <laughs> she writes this to Larry on Tuesday. Okay. You know, the 25th. She's having this conversation with me on the 1st. Nobody is your friend. Everybody is out to look for themselves. That's all this is. <laughs> <laughs> everybody's expense you see that yeah but like i'm sorry this is the ugliest shit i have ever seen in my life what she is doing is trying to push people to suicide and i'm not kidding like there's been 12 lives so far made about me and they're the opposite of the truth. And I'm able to show everything. I Like, this is all recorded. You know, like, this is all within my book, how this all went down. Um, okay, I need all this. I need all this for law enforcement. Do you want <sighs> Oh, my God. What is she crying about? What is she saying that Tasha did? I knew, I don't know how I could be so off with this one.
I knew she portrayed a certain image in public, but I thought she may be a good person in general. She is not. <laughs> oh my God. What? Akuna Matata, Melissa. Akuna Matata, baby. This is in this. The only person that needs to be embarrassed here, Melissa, is you. She's horrible. I've been researching her for months. It's all bad. Sounds good, Larry, because you don't do any of your own work. You're trying to buy people's work, and I have proof. <clears throat> Why are you in the chat? Don't let this crap run you off. You are amazing. I just don't want to say anything because I don't want the backlash of Lana. I just want to be left alone. The backlash of Lana. Well, I'm here if you need anyone. Well, he's going to be there a lot for now because he's single. So enjoy. I understand that. I'm not going to have no problem all night. I'm going to probably jail. Again. I was just, uh, I, I don't give a fuck. So, let's see. <sighs> Heather, if you were, uh, you know, regular visitor of my channel you would know that i actually do cases and uh but i do appreciate your willingness to try to do what vanessa asked stephanie to do which was quote unquote let's go wreck people's lives l-i-v-e-s when they go live on youtube um you're nothing but a follower <laughs> so if you would uh, know my channel, you would see. <clears throat> All influencers are too busy chasing Summer Wells case. Yeah, definitely not me. You go under our videos, under my stuff. It's all right there. I'm in Aliquippa doing uh, a couple of different cases. I work directly with families and lawyers to make a good difference. Um, but unfortunately, I had my own case of, uh, of jealous women uh, threatened women, men and women, and their channels, and creators that, I mean, clearly are so threatened by me, and I'm flattered, but they've taken it too far that now I have to do something about it. Uh, jealousy is a form of flattery, but uh, the lengths that, you know, Gina, Andrea, KK, um, <clears throat> stuff that they've done behind the scenes Luda MJ Snuffles Vanessa um, Lynn Natasha Grimm um, Larry Crafton Kim like this uh, J for justice, this little cesspool. Okay. I never want to do YouTube. Um, all of that stuff, all of those creators and everything that they do, it's literally, um, they don't do anything for anybody. Not a damn thing. Um, <clears throat> This is a case. You're absolutely right. This is a huge case. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> and the deeper that it goes, it's, <clears throat> you know what the hardest thing to answer is when people say, they're like, why, why? Like, like Andrew Powers, why? What's your problem? So I don't have the answer to that. Integrity is a good thing to have. Um, so, you know, I don't have that answer. I mean, I can't tell you why. Uh, Andrea Powers. Um, I do believe that these people have mental health issues. Um, but guess what I've learned over the time is I don't have to prove why. Why does it win cases? Um, so therefore I'm not going to prove the why because it's a waste of time. Whatever somebody's sick motive is inside their own head, that's their, that's their why. Uh, my why of, of fighting for my name and my nonprofit is for my son. So these people took it to a whole nother level and And then instead of just like stopping and walking away and cooling down and regrouping and, and doing better, all these people will just keep doing is just, you know, doubling down, digging, you know, doubling down and digging more ditches and, and covering lies, lies with lies. So Um, but, uh, yeah, why? I don't know why. Um, I have no idea why KK went on Natasha Cooper's third channel and wanted to discuss her private life or what she thought her private life was. And um, when she's been the most private person on YouTube, uh, you know, that's just hey, why. Um, but yet, still is an avatar. Uh, I have no idea why. They're acting like the binders were stolen and that it's Kim's work. I mean, I, I don't know the, these answers. Why? Why are they saying these things? Um, but I can, I can tell you why not. When you when you're happy, when you're when you're happy, you don't behave like this, okay. And the only thing that breeds hate is hate. Hate breeds hate. You can't beat hate with hate. Okay? So, and you the only way you beat hate is with love, to be honest. That's crazy. But love, accountability, rehabilitation, um... And unfortunately, some people just aren't re, uh, you just can't rehabilitate them. But hate doesn't beat hate. It never will. Um, I think it bothers people that I am who I am. I, I definitely think rather than just uh, supporting who I am, I think it bothers some people. I am a very confident person. I love my life. Um, I live life to the fullest. 
I've accomplished a lot in life. Uh, I know there's now channels out there that want to, you know, talk about uh, my ex and my son and a divorce and stuff like that. Um, if that's what makes you happy, then uh, kudos to you. People have been making videos about me for a long time. Um, nothing that anybody does uh, to me will uh, or says about me will change who I am. And I think that's what really bothers people is that you can't get me to be like you. So, um, I think that I can do a lot of things that other people can't, and that bothers them as well. <clears throat> but yeah, the million dollar question, why? Um, I don't know why. And, uh, you know that it speaks volumes if you're that's what you're using your time to do when you have like kids like spend time with your kids um i spend a lot of time with my kid and i'm proud of that No one's going to be perfect in this world. <clears throat> but standards, standards will. That'll be something that never changes for me. I'll always have standards. <clears throat> oh, I will always stay the course. That's what I do. But I wish that I had an answer for people when they say, when they ask me that question, why would somebody do this? Why would, you know, I don't know why, you know, I don't know. Um, oh, I agree. Perfection would be boring. Um, I just know that. I am, I am a definitely a different, rare uh, breed of a human being. I'm proud of that. I, I'm a fair person. I believe fair. I believe in fairness. So if somebody didn't do something, I'm not just going to blame them because, because I can. Like, that's the easy way out. Um, so people that want me to go cut throat on like Natasha Cooper, um, I can't blame Natasha Cooper for something she didn't do. I can't blame KK if she didn't do something. I can't blame, you know, Melissa Jade if she didn't, I can't blame Larry. You just can't go around blaming people for things just because of other situations. Um, that's, that's not how it works. Or rather it does work that way, but that would be called corruption. Um, that's what corrupt people do. And I'm not corrupt. You can't buy me. <clears throat> I don't kiss nobody's ass. Oh, I'll teach them all right. <laughs> um, but there's one thing I'll always have, and that's the truth. The truth will always be on my side, and the truth will be able to, um, you know, set you free. 
But if you see something, you got to say something. If something seems weird to you, you're allowed to ask questions. Don't be afraid to ask questions. Do it in a way that you're not accusatory, but you're just inquiring. Um, I try to be compassionate. I try to be understanding. I try to listen. Um, <laughs> Mike Drabba Mama wants to say, um, it's like, this is her hypothesis to why, in my opinion, when Lana came on the streets, she came with a rap of being queen with info of the Watts for all of the creators that tried and failed but had some jealousy. I don't know. Tiff B, thank you for your new membership. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Um, I will say this. <clears throat> this does not mean I have anybody's side or anybody's back. This is this. <laughs> this is a spade calling you a spade. You are no better than the person, okay, that you are talking about if you are doing the same thing. So the Hollies and the DeLoreans and the Snuffles and the Vanessas and the, the MJs and the Recliner Survivors and uh, all these truth channels, okay? Hate doesn't beat hate. That's that's the problem. Exposing the truth. Showing the truth. The truth is black and white. If it's gray, then keep digging. I think what Jessica from Granny's watching, which has gone through as of late with, you know, the Red Kim and the Portland thing, um, you, you know, my lives would have been about what Red Kim, Baby Arm, Baby Baby, whatever the hell Emma's Portland did. Not about Natasha Cooper saying whatever she was saying. Um, Natasha Cooper said that she got burned by those people. And then she's pointing out that you got burned by those people. But hate isn't when hate doesn't beat hate. That's not how it works. So it'll never work like that. <clears throat> so, um, I know Granny's watching it come on before and said, like, why well, care about what Natasha's done to people? Um, like their feelings and, and stuff like that. And, and that's what her channel is for. Um, hey, you run your channel however you want. Everybody can run their channel however they want. But I know that hate doesn't beat hate. I don't care what kind of channel you have. I don't care what kind of how you want to run a channel. I'm just going to tell you that's not going to win. Um, So, um, 
This is never going to end, though, for people. I mean, I'm trying to get to end, trying to show what goes on because I'm only one creator and how many people are going to watch this. People slide into people's DMs. That's called behind the scenes and, and then what you're trying to orchestrate. Um, I'm thinking it's in a position that that's never going to happen again. Um, but you should also never say never. I understand that there's people out there that don't have families and close friends that they can just see every day. Um, so they've enjoyed, you know, making friends on the internet and things like that. And that's perfectly fine. Um, but I think that when you don't meet somebody in person, you definitely have to tread lightly and you have to use, you know, more precautions and, and vet and stuff like that. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, but when someone won't give you like their real name, that should tell you everything you need to know. Think about it when you go to like a restaurant or a bar or a park or to go grab coffee. Um, and you like, you know, start talking to people or you're like in college and you're mingling at a party and they say, oh, hey, what's up? My name's John. And you're like, oh, my name's Ludovica Bibiani. Oh, my name's Sue. I mean, I didn't come on YouTube to make friends. I didn't come on YouTube for any of those reasons uh, as far as relationships go. Uh, I'm here for, this is like a job. I'm treating it like a job. So... I may not say hi to everybody when they come into chat. Oh, uh, you know, I'm sorry. That's just if I'm in the if I'm busy doing something with explaining and I don't catch you. But I can promise you, my good friends who are modding the live chat, they will give you um, all the time and attention that you need. They are amazing people, and they'll do their best to protect everybody in chat. I think that everybody has felt that with my good friends since day one, and that'll always be that way. Yeah, they don't care about the truth. You want to know when people don't, when you don't want the truth, when someone doesn't want the truth, I'm going to give you guys a little 411. When someone like how Melissa J was saying, no, 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 I don't want it. Like she was letting, she's making it known here. She doesn't want this going deeper, any deeper. Because if it was to go deeper, then the truth comes out. This isn't the truth that Melissa J told me June 1st. But it's going to be really good for my case. And Granny, what is it? I'm glad that you spoke about the situation. I don't know why you're putting a yawning face about it, but I'm not sure. I'm simply just talking about the situation that I... How do I want to say this? Do I believe that people can change? Mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know, on the internet, it's hard to judge people's character by, like, what they say. Because, you know, everyone, like, the saying is, well, I judge people by what they do, their actions. 
well, how do you judge actions when you're like only just talking to somebody like in words? Um, so I think longevity is probably important when you can say someone can change. You're going to have to, it's going to take even longer with an internet relationship, uh, like friendship. So. <sighs> Read your text. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Everybody read Natasha's text. Did you text me, Natasha? <clears throat> oh, I've been, I've, I've been, I might taking my meds. Don't worry. Don't worry. But thank you. Uh, so, um, Judge people by their intentions, guys. Intentions. That's what you judge people by. Their intentions. What was their intent? What was their intent? That's a question for her channel. Um, thank you. Oh, then you should have came in chat, love. I agree. I hope Jessica's doing better too. Yep. Yeah. Thank you very much. That's what sucks. That's what sucks. I wish they could happen tomorrow. Um if they don't if they don't answer on the complaint, you know, I'm going to do a, I could file for a summary judgment. So, um, but everything with the court system takes time. That's the downfall with courts. Uh, but if I say I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. So. Mm. Light overcomes darkness. Thank you. Well, it's kind of like this. You can't expect a different outcome when you're doing the same thing over and over. So that's the definition of insanity. Um, and that's what you see. Uh, I, I, I'm just thankful I get to see it up close and personal. I've had people reach out to me and uh, thank me for bringing all of this to their attention uh, because stuff was off before. And, you know, then I, I come with the receipts and I showed and, um, to think that you, when you're giving your time to people and you're watching their content and you're listening to what they have to say and you're believing in what they have to say and only to find out that they're lying about all of this stuff. I mean, like, I think that that should be exposed. Um,
Yeah, and I, I'm speaking about the the channel on mass. I've had uh, numerous people reach out and thank me for bringing all of this to their attention because you know, Unmasked is the professional channel and that they're better than everybody else type of thing. Eh, well, I don't know. I just, I wonder what happened in the real world if Dateline and 48 Hours and, and um, uh, Unsolved Mysteries and the ID channel, if people that worked for their organizations were going around trying to to do the stuff like this that these channels are doing i mean what happens you know abc program manager caught you know like bombshell sex scandal blackmailing nudes If they weren't to, you know, do stuff for the, for the channel. Like, this is a big deal. Um, so. But when you want to talk about professionalism, you're never going to find me in a chat saying, Hey, out showing my vag, how can I go and ruin Cooper's live? Like, what? I don't know. I just must, like, we're never going to see me saying, all right, we need to, I need to go find people to, to go do this for me. Like, what? Ugh, just makes me want to barf. What surprises me the most is V is uh, our survivor yet protects SP. Hey, love bug, all getting off work. Go, girl. Go, girl. Go, girl. Um, When you're in too deep, that's the problem. <clears throat> when you're in too deep, then you got um, you got issues. You got like it's you know what is she? she should be, I mean Vanessa, if she's totally innocent in all of this, it's very simple. You cut out Father Snuffles. You cut out Melissa Jade because I've proven and I've showed you. Like I was like. Vanessa, your team is coming to me asking me, they want to go to Dateline and get Jay taken off Dateline. I'm like, what are you doing? Wh who does this? I have the proof. I showed it to her. I told her it. So then James is over here telling, making deals behind the scenes, telling me, um, if I basically he wants all the screenshots of me and Teresa, and in turn Unmass is gonna make me videos. I can make my own videos. I make my own documentaries. Thank you very much. And um, and I haven't seen Vanessa produce anything in months. But maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Vanessa is producing a lot. She's doing all of these, you know, behind the scenes things. I don't know. But I mean, this is just this is nuts. And I went to her and I told her like Cooper, Natasha Cooper is not all of your problems. Teresa is not all of your problems. I mean, think about it. Think about it in the real world. You have two kids at home. Okay. You come home to a house and it's messy. Do you think that the one kid only made all of the mess and the other kid just sat there and did his homework the whole time? No, you're, you're both of your kids. I mean, you wouldn't <laughs> just. So no, Natasha Cooper is not 
do is not doing all these things to you. And if she is, then prove it. Lynn, God, they were on this big kick with Lynn. You know, listen, I have I have my issues with Lynn. It's because like <laughs> and I'm in the right with my issues with Lynn. I didn't even know who Lynn was doing videos about me and my dad and but here <laughs> your team you got to know Lynn you met Lynn through your own channel and then you email her you offer her a, a, a show you offer her a spot a, 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 in your channel what Like, you've been around the block of the YouTube streets for how long? And you just met somebody and you're going to offer them a spot on your, you know, professional, beautiful, glam channel? And then to hear, like, oh, I thought that she was a, you know, a doctor or something. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, yeah, go ahead. Smash that. Smash that for me. Um, you know, and then here there's, there's like this falling out and I, and I asked us straight up, I said, what was the falling out though? It was because she didn't tell us who we can and can't be friends with. I was like, yeah, but who's it about? Who is it really about? And you guys are going to shit and die. It's over Melissa Tate. <laughs> it was Melissa Jade and her were both in the Patreon. And Lynn refused to be in, type in the same Patreon that Melissa Jade would be in. They thought that she was like a trauma doctor or something like she was like a therapist or something like that. Um, Lynn, that's what that's what Unmasked originally thought because she did like an episode of I, you guys. I can't get into the whole Lynn thing, and I'm not. Like, I just blow my head off. <laughs> but I said, "What do you mean? Why are you getting involved?" Lynn really came to you as a VIP. She's a VIP of the of this Patreon. Patreon and saying, oh my God, if Melissa Jade's in here, I'm gone. And then says, what do you mean? Teresa's commenting on Lana's lives? Like, you know what I mean? Well, okay. So how does that escalate to where it, where it is today with those guys? I wonder what her initial problem with MJ was. Yeah, Diane, that's what I said. So let's go back to this whole... Why does she refuse to type in this chat? Or not chat. This Patreon. You know, why would Lynn think that she is more entitled to type in there than Melissa Jade? And yes, it all goes back to Melissa Jade lying on this sex panel. Okay? And now the only thing that I can think of is, I mean, it's all going to come out here in Discovery, is I know how Lynn likes to write. And she would have explained very detailed to Vanessa what her issues were with Melissa Jade. It wouldn't have been, oh, Natasha Cooper told me that. You know, that's not going to be how Lynn handles herself. How Lynn handled it is because I have hand knowledge of what Lynn does. And Lynn will write email after email after email. And give you, you know, a fistful of stuff that you don't need, but by God, probably down the road, you may. Um, so what? <laughs> Once again, the common denominator here, Melissa Jade, that you know, you're going, you're going to support somebody like Melissa Jade. That's Lynn's 
Lynn is very upset about this. Wait, what do I go to Vanessa with? About Melissa Jade. And wait a second here. You're, you're claiming that Melissa Jade's your friend. Now we're becoming cool, but I just found out that this person is still doing this and they created the sex scandal. Look at this stuff with Larry. It happened before she ever said it did. That's not how it went down. She lied her ass off to me. Oh, there's another dollar. And what are you going to do about this, Vanessa? Because I have a problem now. Because now things are leading to your boy Snuffles being involved in this. What do you want, what do you want to talk about, Vanessa? Because that's exactly what I came with. Let's talk. Does Lynn really have Patreon? I have no idea. Um, Lud is sure busy right now. I have no idea if she's busy. Hi, Wolfie. What's up? Did you change your picture again? <laughs> um, good to see you in chat, love. But I, I wish I could say this is disappointing, but these people, they're not going to change. What changes them is, like, you just, you can't give them, like, you disassociate. But like I said, I tried to bring my situation to Vanessa and all. Thank you. And all she wanted to do was talk about Teresa. And I'm like, dear Lord, help us. Oh, I've already, I've already been talking to her. Check her Facebook list for, yeah, I've already. She's, she changed that like four days ago. She did it for a reason. Ooh, yeah. Let's get some food up in her. Uh, let's see what else. Oh, my God. My DMs are gone blown. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Anyways, no has has changed it since this live. Oh, has she? I don't even know. Yeah, no, that's what it's that's what it's been. Oh, so I've been screenshot. Oh, she blocked me. She blocked me because she knew I was getting to the truth. <laughs> Yeah, everybody was like, oh, Lana, you're going to listen to what Luda has to say? No, I wasn't listening to what Luda had to say. I was getting her to talk. And I did. And I got Natasha to give me what she needed to give me to show that, yes, this is exactly how it has gone down. Okay. Have faith. Have faith, guys. You gotta have faith. Mm -hmm. Lude is busy right now. <laughs> yes. <Yeah, so. laughs> Bell. Woo. I'm going to get off here too. It was a great live. It was really impromptu. Too. But um, Melissa J was lying to me right out the gate. Melissa J was lying to Allie. Uh, Melissa J is just a liar. Uh, it'll all come out and. Um, uh, I know that I have my messages and uh, just, you know, it's, it is what it is. Who's a common denominator? Thank you. I will. Melissa Jade's coming up. Melissa Jade is the new Kevin Bacon, guys. Melissa Jade is. Loot is the problem. <laughs> no, the problem is, this is the problem. Everybody knew, all these creators, Vanessa knew that Ludovica Biani is off her rocks. Natasha Cooper knew Ludovica Biani's off her rocks, okay? 
all these creators knew this and they just used her used her when it was convenient and they would just blame her yeah like this is what she said to me so i went so i just went ahead and went with this well you know she just says whatever the heck she comes up like comes out of her mouth she just says whatever and it's like and you knew that it wasn't true but oh but i can see that she wrote it down in a little because she wrote down a sentence i mean that's no the common denominator are people that are using people like that to give themselves of oh i'm here this is how i can get away with it hey this is what they said this is what they, hey this is what was told to me give me a break seven degrees of separation is the new channel for muscle jade seven degrees of separation so, MJ, look for it coming out. Huh? Is it of, oh, yeah, MJ, seven degrees. Seven degrees. It's, it, that's what I'm going to call my novel. Thanks, Betsy B. Yeah, there's my novel. MJ's seven degrees of separation. Me too. Collecting evidence does not necessarily mean believing the people that are speaking. Ding, 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 ding. I mean, God, some of these people need a manual. Manual time. I'm going to hang out with my friend Emmanuel. Get that manual going. All right, guys, see you soon. Is it six or seven? Is it seven? Is it six degrees of separation or seven? We'll give her the benefit of the doubt. We'll give her a trench. If it's if it's father snuffles, it's six. <laughs> All right, guys, take care. Again, as always. Love you all. Be kind and chat love.